don't mind if I do. I'm looking for a way to make orthosis to help my problem. I think you mean we. Hello. Orthosis encompasses a bunch of things, and I don't have a huge amount to go on with this comment, but generally orthotics have to do with foot correction. This could be a structure on the bottom of your foot, or something that acts as a supportive cast for your ankle. But where it gets really annoying is where you have problems with your handsies. For example, reduced motor control. When you tell your hand to go burr, it's painful or hard to do, or both if you're really in the blender, I guess. An assistive exoskeleton can solve that. Consider this to be a sort of initial prototype. Your hand has bones, and to emulate that we've got these hard casings. They're all connected through some elasticord. When you move your finger, the exoskeleton kind of follows. It's kind of awkward though, and it slips off quite a lot. <laughs> then by slapping this string on the top, Dr. Deepa, my best friend, looping it through and pulling it, we can move the finger with next to no effort. We want the exoskeleton to do this for us, i.e. automate that pulling motion with this motor. Plug that in and looky, there we go. No effort needed. Ow, 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 stop. My hand is completely fucking stuck in this. <laughs> oh, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. The good news is by completely flipping the motor orientation, I can actually free myself from this mess. I need to automate that. Uh, otherwise, I'm just gonna keep on getting my finger trapped. So we've got some code here. It's pretty basic. We're just controlling the direction and then the speed of the motor on a time interval. Now, when the motor spins in one direction, our finger nicely follows and I don't break it in the process. When the motor then spins the other direction, TPU string I added, I switched the string, loses tension. This allows the TPU's elastic properties to bring the finger back up to a resting position, assisting the human, who has shit motor control, to bring their finger back to where it needs to be. At the moment, I'm controlling that motor with this circuit, but it's only good for controlling one because it only has one motor driver. So we've got to scale that up because we need five motors for every single component of the hand. I dropped my fucking plan. I need to order more motor drivers, but uh, you get the idea. Now we've got to scale up the design to all four fingers. I'm ignoring the thumb for now because I think it's going to be ass to implement. Yeah, that's right. I melt plastics on top of my clothes dryer. Got a problem with that? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Van, two, two, two. Damn it, there's not enough space between these fingers. Version 2.0 of the back palm is way better. We got these follow through holes for the TPU wire to go through on both ends. And we've got the start of the thumb motor, which again, I'm still not dealing with, but I'll, I'll get there. Van, two, three, four. Fine, I'll do it myself. Not gonna lie, this is starting to feel pretty damn cool. I'm not really at the point where I can actually grip objects all that well, but I can move each of these fingers individually. Which means I can do this, ha <laughs> I promise it's not intentional. <laughs> Sadly, there's still a few problems here. Digits that should be rotating aren't rotating sometimes because the pulleys that they're attached to are slipping, which is causing another issue. If I just leave this to run for a little bit, all the fingers are in entirely different positions. That's because the robot has absolutely no way of knowing where the tip of the fingers actually are. So I've whipped up this test rig and what's different about it is there's this flex sensor that is integrated into the finger design. I'm pretty proud of it. The resistance of the sensor changes with bend, i.e. flat finger, we get no bend, so there's no change in resistance, so we don't get a reading. But move the finger and we get a big bend, we get a big reading, big change in resistance, you get the idea. We have a motor and it spins. Wow. Connect that to the finger and the finger moves with that motor spin. And we have this flex sensor that gives us an idea of finger position with motor spin. Combo all those bits together and we can make a control system. Or at least I think, I'm just kind of throwing shit at the wall and <laughs> hoping it sticks. I've never made one of these before. It's got some rules, starting with the activation rule. If a bend is detected for one second or more, the motor will start assisting you in the direction of that bend. Next movement rule. When the motor's spun for three seconds and there's a stall bend, which is just a high sensor value for a long period of time, then the motor will stop for two seconds. The spin back rule says that after stopping, the motor should spin in the opposite direction to the direction it just spun for three seconds 
for roughly the same amount of time. And then finally, the stop condition. It says that at if any point zero bend is detected, i.e. the finger would have to be in a somewhat flat position, the motor should just stop. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, this doesn't look much like zero bend, and it's because the sensor is a bit of a piece of shit, but the better ones are much more expensive, so I'm not buying it, I'm not buying it. Psych! Yeah, I, I only bought two though, so I did show a little bit of restraint. Orthosis devices generally aim to improve stability, and my wrists are these thrail little things. Banana for scale, of course. Also, the palm lifts up whenever the motor is run, so I've made this flexible plastic cast. Didn't think this one through all that well. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. This was so hard to cut. Don't really know why I'm flexing at the end. The thermoplastic does fit sorta nicely though. So redesign, let's go. Here's how that stability device connects to my arm. It's pretty good, it fits nicely, and it connects to the palm. I really treat you with these transitions, don't I? <laughs> God damn. Look at the mess! Your thumb's got two movements. This one. Extension and flexion. And this one. Palmer and radial abduction. The first one isn't too bad. Angles are a bit weird, but we're gonna use a similar method we used to the fingers. This time the motor do be doing a handstand though. The other one I can't actually do, because the place where I need to put the motor, I have whatever this thing is called. So I'm gonna ignore it, and let the user do that bit of movement for me. I'll be honest, it's a bit of a stringy mess, but my god does this thing feel so cool to wear. I mean, how, is this not just so fucking cool? <laughs> the range of motion is pretty non-restrictive as well. So much so that I can even sort of cook dinner with this thing. Keep in mind this isn't actually electrically powered at the moment, but... You guys get the idea. You know, in hindsight, this looks rank, but I promise you it was good. Now, since the thumb rotates so differently to how the fingers rotate, it's got its own flex bend sensor because it's got its own type of values that it needs and its own control system. But the four rules that dictate this control system are basically, basically the same as the four finger one. But Robocus, you say, you've only got two sensors for five digits, right? Doesn't that partially invalidate your control system and mean that it's not going to work how you want it to? You know what, smartass? You're, you are right, but I'm a ignore it. This thing is a bitch to get working, but beats kind of fire though. If I had some musical talent, I would do something good with this. Because of those control system shenanigans, the only finger I can actually reliably demonstrate with gripping is the index finger. But if we go for this, you can see it sort of works. Uh, I'm gonna run the rest of the fingers now, and they're only going to work once. And I know because I tried this once before and completely broke my design. That's why there's an entirely new design now. So, uh, wish me luck. <laughs> Fuck. I might fail. Holy shit, yeah, this thing is very broken. Right, fuck it. I've got a train to CAD, so uh... Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, sub, and leave your robot idea below. I might steal it. I, I mean, make. Make it.